experience up at the, up at the dome? I do. It's from state. Yep, from state. I think we, I've been up there three times, four times maybe. So um, never on a Friday night, but um, Saturday nights, Friday nights are no different. You know, they're they're being they're ready to go. The train will be be blowing and all that stuff. <laughs> I, yeah. I, I know it makes a difference for for guys catching punts and yeah. kickoff. Does does it? Make a difference for receivers, yeah. is that? Well, you know, I, I believe they replaced that ceiling. Yeah. So I haven't been there since the ceiling's been replaced. So hopefully that's a good thing. <laughs> you know, the last ceiling wasn't the best. So, yeah. Uh, defensively, well, what do they do well? What challenges do they present? You know, they're multiple. So they, they play a four down front. They got a nod front. They got a bear front. They got a guys line up everywhere front. So we just got to be poised and just idea it and block it and cover our gaps. When we were out here, you know, watching practices, yeah. you, you guys emphasize ball security. Correct. When you're struggling with turnovers, mm -hmm. but you already emphasize it, yeah. What can you What can you do? Just keep doing it. You know, just keep doing it. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. And you know, it comes down to a, you know, a lot of it is not so much the, I guess, the fundamentals of it. You know, there was just some, you know, we had a miss uh, handoff uh, with uh, Mike and Brendan, and then you know, Brendan on his fumble Saturday, the ball was low. You know, so we just got to keep reinforcing it, and just guys got to just, just got to do it. We got to take care of the ball. The O line with with Leach involved. Yeah. Were you happy with, with how they played this past? This past yes, Saturday? there was some good spurts. You know, and the reason why we were able to move the football um, down the field, and just got to continue to doing that. You know, be a, a different challenge this week because uh, Old Dominion was a four man front, and uh, Syracuse is going to play multiple fronts. So, you know, uh, try to eliminate. The negative plays, the back backfield plays, and just covering guys up in their gaps. How do you simulate that, all those different yeah. looks? That I tell you, our, our two graduate assistants, uh, Coach Spaz and Coach Guillermo, did a tremendous job this week having those guys assimilating the looks, and it was pretty clean. So our guys should be should be pretty prepared. Yeah. Rudd's defense throws a bunch of different yeah. looks, right? Does that That's right. help a little? So, I mean, there's some carryover from training camp, right, that you've seen some of that stuff that's a little bit similar. So, yeah. You talked about on Saturday, Brennan needing just to be Brennan. Yeah. How does he do that when y'all are kind of wanting him to be a little bit more in the system, be yeah. more of a game manager? Yeah. I mean, he can still make plays. I mean, like being with the game manager is just like taking care of the ball, take throwing the ball where the defense is giving it to you. But I mean, the scrambles, like playing football, like do that. But just take care of it when you're out of the pocket. You know, like that one rep before the half. So yeah, he can still be Brennan and, and playing within the system. Obviously, we talked a lot about turnovers, drop passes. Yeah. You guys put up over 500 yards of offense. Yeah. Do you try to, at some point, also remind the guys, like, hey, there's some real good things? I mean, yeah, we, we review the film on, on uh, Mondays and point out the goods, the bads, the ugly. You know, so there's a lot of good things. But it, bottom line, no matter how many yards you get, the bottom line is scoring points, right? And we didn't capitalize in the red zone. You know, we're a little bit better on third down. But, you know, bottom line is scoring points, right? And, you know, we did a great job with that two-minute drive. To get down to kick a field goal to win and score what two more points than the opponent so that's the but you know the yards that's just a byproduct we got to score points when you look back on the game yeah. for Xavier Brown kind of flash what was something that really stood out about really uh nothing stood out it's just what the kid has been doing in practice so it's really excited to see him do that in the game and you know we told him get back in there a couple more times and see if you can do it again and hopefully he builds on that confidence that he has and uh, can contribute this uh, this Friday night. I know, I know Coach Elliott's talking about football intelligence, wanting yeah. this team making a step. Xavier, one of those plays, showed that when he stayed in bounds, right, yes. straight out of bounds. How happy were you to see yes, a freshman? We, I was screaming up in the press box. I know he couldn't hear me. Stay in bounds. You know, the kids, I mean, he's a smart kid to understand that situation to do that. So kudos to him. The, the rotation you guys have going at, at running yeah. back with, with Paris leading away Mike yeah. and, and Xavier, yeah. you like that three man? Yes, we do. And, you know, if somebody else emerges, we'll rotate them in there and keep them fresh and, and just play ball. Yeah. Do you change that up, though, depending on how the last game goes, or you just kind of start with Paris and then kind of work from there? Yeah, we start with Paris and work from there. You know, Xavier's done a good job, so he's earned, earned more, probably get in earlier, you know, than he did last week, and it's just go from there. Did Coach Rudd ask to borrow either Brennan or Coach Higgins for some scouting on an eye and back? You know, I've been in my little chamber. I don't know. He probably did. I assume he did. <laughs> <laughs> we'll ask. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.